Now to our results 2020 coverage. Pastors and ministers from across Central Florida are in downtown Orlando pushing people to vote with a weekend of voting festivities. In fact, they're calling this Vote Fest. And we're getting early voting numbers showing young people are coming out like never before. This is according to analysis done by Tufts Tisch College. Take a look at Florida compared to another key battleground state, Ohio. The number on your left is the amount of young people ages 18 to 29 who cast an early or absentee ballot in 2016. The right side is younger people who already cast a ballot this year significantly up. You can see this year, and that's the exact goal of VoteFest 2020, to get more younger and underrepresented people out to the polls. New 6's Clay Lepard is live in downtown Orlando tonight with how they're doing it. Clay. Eric, early voting continues at places such as the Amway Center. However, today, voters' voices echoed beyond the ballot box. <laughs> A day of action as the Florida Rights Restoration Coalition led a march through Paramore and a festival outside the Amway Center, calling on others to vote. It's the first time that they actually get to participate with society. It's an organization that successfully pushed for felons' voter rights to be restored. The organization says since 2018, it already has paid off $27 million worth of fines and fees for more than 40,000 returning citizens so they can vote. We have people who voted for the very first time and they're in their 60s and 70s. You guys do 1B. Elsewhere in Orlando, service industry union workers canvass neighborhoods. Are you registered to vote? I am. To get more voters to the polls hundreds of doors and we've been educating the, the voters. This is the best way to reach out to voters. Peace, what's going on? They had help from some big names too, including rapper and activist Common, who took part in this roundtable discussion. It just needs to be enough people and you speaking up, as, as micro as it may seem, you putting that vote in is like changing and shifting the tides for, for you and your people and for people long term. Early voting continues here tomorrow beginning at 8 o'clock. You can find out more about early voting locations across Central Florida by heading to clickorlando.com and the News 6 Voter Guide. In downtown Orlando, Clay Lapard getting results News 6.